But first on Fox, St. Louis County NAACP officials are calling for unity following police shootings in Dallas and Baldwin. A prayer vigil held tonight centered on the urgent need to end the violence. Fox's Kelly Hoskins joins us live from North County, where community leaders made a plea for the violence to cease. Kelly. Elliot, the prayer vigil was held here at Merchant's Tabernacle Church and the St. Louis County NAACP. They're calling for peace and togetherness after the recent police involved shootings. We want to continue to pray. We want to pray all over the St. Louis area, all over the country. Just let's do that. The St. Louis County NAACP president called the recent police involved shootings a tragedy including the killings of two black men, Alton Sterling in Louisiana and Fernando Castile in Minnesota. Sunday evening, the local NAACP held a prayer vigil standing side by side with law enforcement, clergy, community leaders to reflect and pray for unity and the safety of young African-American men across the nation and law enforcement officers. Leaders are calling for the return to one of the founding principles of the NAACP, nonviolence. But you have many people that are um, very frustrated that are looking for answers, but our message today is that an eye for an eye will make the whole world blind. Uh, and revenge is certainly not the avenue. The group prayed for the families of the Dallas police officer that lost their lives and the family of the Baldwin police officer that was shot this week following a traffic stop. Violence is an epidemic that's affecting all of us the community, law enforcement, and the only way we're going to solve it is to come together. Participants say the issue must be addressed and it will take the entire community working with police to find a solution. Well, I appreciate their leadership bringing us out. Um, we say a lot this is about relationships. Look at the relationships in this room. So it, it's a good thing to, to be part of and uh, we're fortunate to be here. What can you do? What can we do? to get involved, to make our community realize, to put down the pistols, that violence isn't the answer. A community leader say they will continue to pray for the protection and strength of the community as well as law enforcement. Live in St. Louis County, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.